Hello, this is Maker J101, and here is a um, water pump I'm gonna make for my um, Sterling engine. This one right here. Um, I'm actually curing the glue right now because it has a hole in it. Um, but so this is gonna be the water pump, and it's gonna run off of the air pressure. So when the air pressure goes in and out, it's gonna pump the water. So my air pressure is gonna come in here, and then there's gonna be a diaphragm on this surface here so sandwich in between here so there's gonna pull that in and out and then there's gonna and that water's gonna be on that this side and then there'll be a check valve um, let's see on this layer and on this layer so that the water goes in and out the correct way and then yeah that's about it so now I'm gonna put it together some more use some silicone or something like that to uh, seal it up real good and hopefully it'll work so I don't know but I used a I'm just using old scraps of aluminum like this scrap here um, and to get these nice circles like this well not really nice circles I um, used a one inch paddle bit in the drill and they're made for wood but it seemed to still work pretty good and it's aluminum so it didn't seem to dull it at all so that worked pretty good. Okay, so I just got the diaphragm glued in. So, still has to dry, but, um, so yeah. So the next step is to put in the check valves. Um, not exactly sure what material I'm going to use yet. But this, um, diaphragm, I'm just using, um, a thick rubber glove. Um, it's like a chemical rubber glove or something. Okay, so here's the check valves. So it's just a little flap of the same material, um, that I glued on here one on each side. I was originally going to use some plastic or some rubber like this, I think it's palm liner, um, but I stuck a little piece on there and tried blowing through it and it would it was because the surface area isn't very great uh, since the little hole uh, you couldn't really blow through it very good so I figured that would not work so this seems like it should work. Alright so my design has a bit of a flaw See, <clears throat> this check valve here, when it opens, it actually blocks this hole. So, I think I'm going to move this hole over so that it doesn't do that. And then it should work a lot better. Um, so, I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is how I cure my JB Weld in like 10 minutes. Get it so that it's hard um, enough to do something with it. Um, I just put on my hot plate. Like, I don't know how hot it is, but it's pretty hot. I mean, not hot, not boiling, but it's too hot to leave your hand on there very long. But I just put them under a can to keep the heat in there. And this JB Weld probably has been on there for about 10 minutes. And it's pretty hard. I can't dig my fingernail into it. But usually, JB Weld takes about 24 hours to dry. Um, so I'm speeding up the process a lot. But, so now all I just gotta do, so I moved the hole over and blocked up the other hole. And now all I gotta do is just glue them back together and bolt it down. So I'll get doing that. Okay, <clears throat> so if the way that I did it looks a little too complicated for you and you need something easier, you could, instead of um, making all that check valve part, um, which is probably the most complicated part, well, other than drilling, using the paddle bit to drill um, the large area for the diaphragm, you could replace all the check valve part with this, which is a um, squirt gun. Um, pump or water gun pump and you just take this part off and then this part is the check valve assembly so I think that the water would come in this one come out this one I'm not really sure no actually it lops away but yeah these already have the check valves built in this is kind of hard to do let me flip the camera down so there's the little check valve part now, I think that the check valves I made probably work better, they seal better, but that would work too. Um, you could also use this for a piston pump too. You could just glue your piston right on here, and there you go, you've got a piston pump. Alright, so I've got it <clears throat> all put back together. Um, so now it's time to test it out. Okay, so here it is all hooked up. <clears throat> so, it runs a lot better um, with a load. Um, at slower RPMs, it pumps a lot more water. So I have a, my generator hooked up right now. Um, but I've got a squirt gun nozzle on it right now so that you can see how far it squirts. 
It can squirt actually about three feet. So, squirting pretty good. So, yeah. I'll pop the nozzle off here. And that's, it's not really, um, it's not, I'm not really sacrificing any, um, um, any uh, performance with this either. It seems like it, I mean, when you put, squeeze this tube, the engine doesn't really speed up at all. So, I mean, I don't think it's really using much power from the engine. Whereas if I was using a piston pump, it would be slowing the engine down quite a bit just to pump that water. But you can see it pumps it, still pumps it fine up here. But see, when the engine is going on slower, it pumps a lot more water. Or I mean, yeah, a lot more water. So. Whereas if it's going really fast, it doesn't pump so much. So yeah, that's how to make a um, DIY water pump for a Sterling engine. It works really good. So, so yeah, thanks for watching.